All right, this one is probably going to be even more unscripted than most of them, um, but we just need to uh, talk about snapping a little bit. And uh, there's a couple of things that uh, we want to go over first. If you read through the documentation, you will see mention of something called a line box. Uh, in this case, uh, the yellow lines are the, the lines of interest, um, and the purple lines here are um, uh, represent the, the line box for these lines. A in order to uh, snap to or identify a line, um, you have to follow all the rules, like you have to be within a search distance of either the line or the line point, depending on uh, if you're searching for lines or line points. And you also have to be within the line box. It seems kind of it's kind of a weird concept um, at uh, the beginning, but you, as you get used to it, you kind of find yourself using it as a filter to select one line over another. Um, if I turn on line points, um, what we'll also see here is that, uh, uh, for example, this um, this line, there's a point up here, and there's a point down here, and there's nothing in between. And on this particular line, there are points, um, intermediate points along the line. Uh, we're going to use this. Uh, in the uh, uh, just e examples. So I've got line points turned on. When line points are turned on, the end points are displayed with circles. The intermediate points are just displayed by these, uh, these little dots. I have line widths set pretty prominently, so they, uh, to some extent they obscure the line points, but that's, that's okay. We can, we can at least see them. Um, let's go ahead and uh, I've got um, start in and insert line function. And we are going to do some snapping. Uh, one thing to be aware of is um, the dialog to set all the snap settings. S-N-A-S-E-T for snap settings. Things to consider. Um, do we want to snap to all open workspaces? Remember we can have as many, really as many workspaces as we want open at the same time. Each one remains independent. Uh, it's not attached in any way. It's not referenced in any way. It's just open at the same time. So if I have two files open and um, I want to be able to snap two items in either workspace, that's what that'd be for. Uh, snap, what do I want to snap to? All of these things are available by key in, uh, but let's just look at them in this uh, dialog box. Do we want to snap to lines only, symbols only, text only, points only, or everything? Uh, usually, I would leave this set to everything, and I would use my uh, kind of the distance to the thing I want to snap to. I'm going to get close to the thing I want to snap to. When searching and considering a line, do we want to consider the closest line or the closest line point? For example, um, these two lines are very close to each other. This line um, only has two points. This line has a bunch of points. In here, where they are very close together, if I'm snapping to the closest line point, it's always going to grab this line because it has points that are closer. Uh, if I say that I want to snap to the closest line, 
even though there's a point on this line, if I'm closer to the other one, it's going to grab the closest line. Uh, when it, I am snapping, do uh, especially uh, this is, you know, setting the active Z, is it uh, going to snap in 2D or 3D? Is it also going to grab the elevation or just the XY position? Do we want to verify each snap? It's just a, uh, a yes or no. Uh, <clears throat> typically, I leave this set to yes, uh, but there's a lot of times where we would turn this off and um, just snap very closely using the the cursor jumping to uh, an item or or locking onto an item as the verification. Um, ignore failed snaps. So if I have this set to yes and I try to identify something and fail to identify it, do we want to go ahead and digitize the point that I identified anyway? Uh, usually if I turn snapping on, I want it to snap. So I typically set that to no. And then after I snap to something and go on to digitize the next point, do I want to be snapping continuously or do we want that snapping to be a one-time event where I have to turn it on each time? Um, this is probably the most standard way uh, that I personally use it. Uh, all open, snapped everything, the closest line point. Uh, do we want to return the line point, intersection, end point, or midpoint? Uh, we'll, we'll play with those a little bit. Um, I usually want to snap to the, to the closest point that I identify. I want it to be snapping in 3D. I want to verify it. I do not want to ignore missed snaps and I want to turn it off each time so let's just go ahead and do that and remember that the button 0 is toggling snapping and we will see down at the uh, at the bottom well on the main dialog window uh, right here snap status is displayed and it also has uh, for example I'm snapping to all workspaces all point the nearest point 3d verify is on attach um, uh, snap after is off ignore is off so if I toggle snapping I'm just hitting button zero you can see snapping on and off if I say snapping on and say I go over to uh, this position digitize button number one because I want to digitize a point it is going to jump to the position where the snap will occur it is asking me to verify so if we look at the uh, the key dialog We can see that the options are accept this snap, reject this snap, uh, select the next point that meets the criteria. So this would reject this one and try another snap based on that location. Or uh, it's a handy little thing. If I've got multiple workspaces open and I do not know what workspace I'm in or what workspace an item is in, and I snap to something visible, it will give me the opportunity with button 7 to change to that workspace. I only have one workspace open in this case, so that's not going to be uh, uh, that's not going to be important. But if I have six, seven, eight, ten workspaces open, and I want to uh, begin acting on a particular workspace, I can turn snap on, snap to something in that workspace, hit button number seven, reject the snap, and I am then working in that active workspace. So uh, let's 
go ahead and um, uh, accept this snap. And we can see that now that is the, uh, the point where I am working from. And I can then go to another point and snap on, verify the snap. All right, let's talk about the, uh, let's see, we're at the nearest line points. So here's, here's an example. Hopefully this works out. I am nearest this line, but I am nearest this line point. So even though I'm closest to the line on top, when I digitize, it's going to look for the nearest line point and snap to that. If I had this set to the nearest line, it would have snapped to, remember I'm snapping to line points, it would have snapped to the line point on the nearest line. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, do an example of that. Uh, we're still digitizing, but I can bring up snap set. Uh, say we want to search for the nearest line. Okay, now even though I'm near this point, I'm going to go down to the nearest line. Oop, didn't turn snap on. Let's turn snapping on. I'm near this line, this line point. I have it set to the nearest line. So it is going to jump to the return item on the nearest line. So we can see that since this line only had two points, it grabbed the nearest point on the nearest line. And save that. And so we can see how all of that snapping took place. Uh, let's look at an example of snap after being set to on. So I can do a, uh, a snap set and action after snap leave snapping on. Uh, this also can be set with a key in S N A snap A after on S N A A O N or S N A A O F F. In any case, once I snap, it should leave snapping on. I still have verification on. I'm still going to the nearest point. I turn snapping on and I snap to this point and now I am not turning snapping on. You can see that it never goes off. Every time I digitize a point, it is going to snap. And even at this point, I've ended the line. Snapping is turned on and I have to toggle it off. When snap after is on, it will only turn off manually. It will always, as long as you, it's on, it will stay on, uh, which can be a little bit of a hassle because you think, well, I ended the line, I don't want to snap to anything, but you digitize a point or you go to search for something and it you know, asks you to uh, uh, ask you to snap. So uh, when snap after is on, remember to turn it off when you want it off. Now let's, um, we talked about snap verification each time that took two clicks at each point because I had to verify the snap. This time we're going to use a key in snap verification off. And if we look down in the uh, lower part of the screen, V on, all right, verification is on. Let's go ahead and turn snap verification off. Uh, snap after is turned on. So in this case, one click is going to get me 
points every time I click it is going to snap. In this case if it snapped to something wrong I would have to hit back up and try again. But there are times when you're digitizing very quickly um, and snapping to something and uh, verification off, snap after on, uh, can be nearly magical. All right, let's uh, go back to snap set again and uh, let's instead of returning points, let's return ends. Uh, this is the uh, uh, one of the other things that uh, is very helpful. Um, probably the two things that that we use the most are snapping to points and snapping to ends. Um, let's go ahead and ver I'm turn verify back on. I'm going to uh, turn snapping off after, and so this time. Remember, the end points are displayed by circles. So let's go in here and we're going to turn snapping on. Uh, and I'm going to go up to this point and say I want to snap to this line. Notice that it jumps to the end point when snap mode is set to end, then it is always going to return the end point of the line. Here's uh, a line with a, uh, a bunch of points. Um, I think we're set to the um, closest point, uh, but it doesn't matter. Let's just go up and digit, uh, uh, hit button number one. Oops, didn't have uh, snapping turned on. Turn snapping on. Going to get really close to this point. It's still going to jump to the end. In end mode, it is always going to jump to the end point of the line. So when you're uh, sna you know, snapping to previously digitize things and you want to continue digitizing something, uh, snap end mode is, uh, is what we want there. All right, let's uh, let's end that. Um, oh, let's say let's look at one other thing. Um, for the uh, return, we want to return a uh, uh, an intersection. This can be handy if uh, we're going to turn snapping on. And in this case, all right, we want to snap to this line, but we want to just grab that line at the position closest to the cursor. So it finds the closest line. It uh, jumps to a point perpendicular to the line from where we digitized, and we can start digitizing from there. So let's go ahead and uh, just snap on, attach there, snap on, attach, uh, I, I say attach, but we're not attaching, we're actually snapping, and close, and there we are. Uh, the reason it's important that I uh, made the distinction between attaching is, notice that we snapped Right, the we have a point that is concurrent with this line, but there is no point on the line. Uh, if we want a point on the line, typically we are going to use the attach button, and each line and fly line has something called attach. And if I, um, I have some attachment parameters that I can set. Uh, let's see. When I attach 
what I, where do I want the Z to come from? Um, let's say we take it from line two, and I have to look at this because uh, this is one of those that I never, uh, I never remember. I always have to. Uh, b this is set in all of our uh, uh, function keys, so it's not something I change very often. But one of these is um, well, let's just let's figure out where we are right now. So these lines are set to um, just some random elevation. I'm going to go ahead and change this line to uh, 1200. I'm going to change the elevation. The elevation mode is to change the whole line. So now every point on that line is 1200. Um, the let's do this line um, let's change this line to 1000 all right so this line is set to 1200 this line is set to 1000 i'm going to set my active elevation to 800 now in my snap settings, um, we can have it use the original elevation. Uh, and let's go ahead and, and just, and let's say node when attaching, yes. Uh, typically we're gonna do this. So if I hit button number five, and uh, this is just like a snap, except it is going to grab it's like a uh, uh, an intersection snap, but it is going to create a point on this line that I attached to. Let's turn attaching on, attach to this one, and in theory, this line is still set to 800 elevation because I had the Z mode when attaching to original. Uh, just to find out for sure, let's uh, average, you know, mean the elevations. That's pretty obvious. Uh, let's say we want the Z rule from line one. Um, and what gets confusing here is line one and line two, typically line one means like this line. So the line that I'm digitizing would be this line. Um, it would be the active line. Uh, line two is usually a line that already exists or a line that you are considering. Uh, so let's just let's find out. Remember, the elevations here were uh, 1,200 for this, uh, 1,000 for this, and the active is 800. So if we turn attaching on, and I attach to this, and I attach to this one. All right. My prediction was that since line one is kind of the uh, the active line, and I said take the elevations from the active line, the elevation of these points should be 800, and that is in fact the case. So if I lock on here, I'm at 1200, drops to 800, back up to 1200. If I say take the elevation from line two, okay, now when I attach, it's going to use that elevation, but notice, um, well, if, uh, if I'm working in stereo, 
it sets the active Z to the attached line. Um, here it doesn't do that, um, but you could see when I attach to this line, watch how the elevation jumps to that line. So when I digitize and now we'll look at that line. Elevation from the 1000 line, elevation from the 1200 line, and then back to the elevation that I was digitizing at. So uh, we looked at uh, snap after, snap verify, uh, nearest line, nearest point, uh, attaching, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit of the key ends. Uh, this is one that you'd go to the SNA SET snap set in help to see all the key ends. Uh, typically, the ones that, uh, that that I've memorized because I would use them the most would be. Um, uh, verify on and off and snap after on and off. Um, I think snap SNA PNT, yeah, that'll change it from uh, snap to the nearest point for SNA END, snap to the nearest end, snap to the nearest intersection, which is kind of like attach with no node point. Um, so SNA END, SNA INT, SNA END, SNA SCT to bring up the uh, the dialogue. Uh, the on, the off, a end, or a, after, um, on, after, off. So SNA a on, SNA a off. Uh, that is snapping in the world of VR.